are all the ingredients all the ingredients that you might need to make this egg cake or like the Dutch says air cooking excuse me if I'm butchering the the language but yes it's basically an egg cake and all you need is sugar two eggs a lemon or vanilla extract these are um, like optional so you could either do um, the lemon by itself without the vanilla extract but I like to use both or you can just do the vanilla extract without the lemon um, flour and baking powder and that's it and I'm gonna give you the measurements um, in the next slide so let's go okay so first what you're gonna want to do in your bowl is put in your two eggs the egg yolk and the egg whites so we're gonna put that in there and then we're gonna put well I usually put half a cup of sugar but you can put a hundred grams which is also half a cup with at least two tablespoons more but just to reduce sweetness I just put half a cup of sugar okay and then we're going to use our um, hand mixer here and we're just going to blend everything together until it gets foamy and then we're going to go on ahead with our dry ingredients I'm just going to repeat what I said because I don't know if you hear it over the noise and I don't know how I'm going to edit it yet. But um, at this point, you're going to start to feel a little more stiffness. I'm just showing you how it's getting. So we're just going to beat it a little more. Um, just because, like I said, I'm using brown sugar and it takes longer to dissolve than white sugar. And what's good about this recipe is that you don't have to wait for the egg to be at room temperature like other cakes so you can just use um, eggs from out of the fridge if you're rushing or anything like that. Okay, I think I'm satisfied with this. This is what you want. Something as foamy as this. I hope that you can see that correctly. Just put that on the side. So now we have the one teaspoon, one teaspoon of baking powder that we're going to mix in our, uh, let me just switch this up. Oh, but it's gonna make a mess, okay. So I'm just gonna put this inside of, um, inside of my flour so I have a hundred grams of flour in here which is half a cup of flour with two tablespoons so half a cup plus two tablespoons or just a hundred grams and just one teaspoon of baking powder and I'm just gonna give this a quick mix It doesn't have to be perfect, it's okay because it's going to get mixed up with everything else. Okay, so at this point you're going to want to mix your dry ingredients with your wet ingredients. And we're just going to put it in two parts.
Um, for this part, you're gonna wanna use a spatula or spoon if you want one, cause you don't want to like get rid of all of the bubbles that we just made there. So we're just gonna go a little bit, like half, and then we're gonna mix this in. So this is also allow us to um, get the edges of parts that didn't get mixed in well. I don't know if you can see when I'm folding over you can still see a little bit of the brown sugar that wasn't really like dissolved as yet but that's okay but again if you use white sugar you're not gonna get that that feeling and at this point you can also go ahead and add your one tablespoon of lemon juice And you can also go ahead and add your vanilla extract. I just use one tablespoon, one teaspoon, sorry, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And again, like I said at the beginning, it is optional. You can either just use vanilla or just use lemon. You don't have to use both. But I think the lemon juice add something extra to the bacon powder that we put in there so probably don't skip out that one but if you do skip it out it still is gonna come out good but as you can see add I added as I added the lemon zest you get like a little more foam to that I don't know if you ever did the science but when lemon the acidity in the lemon along with the bacon powder has like a foamy ish reaction so just like um, vinegar just like vinegar and bacon powder so we're just gonna add the rest of our dry ingredients in here And again just fold it in not to lose all of those air bubbles that we just created it's gonna be a, a pretty thick batter so it's not supposed to be um, runny Okay, so once ev if once everything is uh, mixed in, don't over mix or anything like that. Just make sure all of your dry ingredients is well combined. You can um, look through it just to see if you see any like flower parts that isn't mixed in well as yet. See all like when I pull it here, all of those bubbles inside. We want to keep that. Okay, I think my batter is um, done. So I'm just gonna show you how um, how to put it inside of a pan. Okay, so at this point, um, probably before I forgot to say it, you could preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Um, I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit, so you probably have to Google that. Um, then what you're gonna need is I usually use two spoon 
or just a spatula um, just to spread out the batter because like I said it's thick and it's not gonna look like a cake like inside of a you know the round like a round cake it's gonna be like in pieces more like pancake it's gonna look like pancake but it does not have the texture or taste like pancake So I'm just gonna scoop out an amount like this and then I'm using the other spoon to like get it out there and then you could just go ahead and like make a circle with it and how much you get out of it all depends on how big you want your egg cakes to be Make sure you keep a good spacing between them because they are going to spread. So just make sure that you have that space in between. Also, what I like to use here is maybe, um, what do you call it now, the a ice cream scoop, a ice cream scoop could come in handy as well, here. And once you're done doing this, you can bake it for 10 minutes, about 10 minutes, because this depends on your oven, about 10 minutes, until the edges are like browning. And then you can take it out and you have to leave it cool. You have to leave it cool because when you take it out, you're gonna realize that it's like super soft, but it's going to air dry. If I can say that, I call it air dry, <laughs> but yeah. I have about five here. I'm gonna see if I could fit one on this side. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop these in the oven and then probably gonna do another trick because I still have some batter leave over. Um, so it, again, it all depends on how big you do them, but you're gonna see how they spread. And I just hope that I left enough space and they don't like stick on together. So we're hoping for the best here. So these just came out of the oven as you can see make sure you have the space there because my own got like kind of stuck there but that's okay that's okay and they're supposed to be like this color my oven is kind of weird as you can see this side has like one clearer side here and then one darker side but it is cooked and right now it's like super soft so I do have to leave it like kind of air dry but this is what they look like So these are what they look like and this is what you would get if you're buying them in a shop also, in a bag. You get about, I think about five or six of them. Um, I didn't put the burnt one there but yeah, this is what they look like and I'm just gonna try and tear off a piece here so you guys could see. This is what it looks like. And how do you the Dutch usually eat it is like they spread like butter to eat it with but honestly that's I never tried it like that and I don't think I would like it like that 
but it is like a dry cake so it doesn't have like you know any like fat issues as you can see i didn't put like any oil or butter when i did it so it tastes very very good you could eat this for like a snack with a fruit you could eat it with coffee um yeah and probably instead of spreading butter you can spread like jam i think they do that also but this is the simple cake and again as you can see it's like kind of fluffy and it's not as flat as like a crepe or crepe um so it's more like a pancake-ish and this is what it looks like 